everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're talking about things you might not know about printable vinyl. Now Cricut Print and Cut in itself is a wonderful thing if you happen to be a Cricut beginner or maybe you've had your Cricut for a while and you don't know what Print and Cut is, check out the videos that we have here on the channel. We've got a lot of them having to do with Print and Cut and printable materials. But as far as printable vinyls go, there might be a lot that you just don't know and some things definitely matter. So sit back, relax, and we hope you do enjoy these facts you might not know about printable vinyl materials. Here in front of me today, I do have several different printable products, but the one that we're kind of focusing on today is printable vinyl, which would kind of veer on the road of um, peel and stick, so kind of like uh, adhesive vinyl. Now, for adhesive vinyl, we do have some favorite brands. HTV Rant is our favorite. It's very, very comparable to Zakoto. So Zakoto is the brand that we have used in the past a lot, and the HTV Rant is the brand that we like now. They're very, very comparable. Like I said, the only reason why we love HTV Rant better is because the price is a lot more affordable, and you do not sacrifice quality. Now, why do we like these in particular? Have we tried a lot? We have tried a lot and we've tried different finishes and things like that. And one of the points I want to let you guys know that you might not know about printable vinyl is that finish definitely matters and matte is not as good as glossy. A glossy finish on your printable vinyl, printable sticker paper, whatever you want to call it on those types of materials is going to be way more professional looking in the end than a mat. So take take heed when we tell you guys that. Now you know as far as regular adhesive vinyl, we like mat better. We like to cut a mat finish better and use that on projects. But for, but for whatever reason, when using printable vinyl or printable sticker paper, we have noticed that using a glossy material makes it look so much better. So both of these are glossy. Check them both out. I'll have both of these links down below for you. Uh, just some more that we had was our uh, HTV Rant printable HTV. We had some printable magnetic sheets, some new fun DIY photo transfers that use heat too. I'll link all these down below our favorite printable products. But like I said, today we're mainly focusing on just printable vinyl. One of the most asked questions that we get about printable vinyl is, can I make it as a sticker for my car? And the answer is yes, you can do that, but something you need to be aware of is that it is not waterproof. It is completely impossible for you to purchase a one-step printable vinyl that is going to print with a printer, soak ink, and then actually be waterproof. Now this Zakoto on the packaging, it says water resistant and I wish it wouldn't say that. I don't want to call it like false marketing or anything like that. Uh, however, anything that is of a material like this, which can soak up ink from a printer, it is completely impossible for it to also be uh, waterproof. If it soaks up ink from a printer, it's going to be able to soak up water from rain or what have you. Um, so that's something you need to know, even if it says water resistant, whatever. If it's a one step vinyl, a one sheet vinyl, there's absolutely no way for it to be waterproof. So you do need to think about that when adding it to cups, tumblers, glasses, cars, anything that's gonna be exposed to wet, condensation, out in the elements, things like that. Um, even sun, sun can really damage the ink that is placed on these materials. So all of those are factors to be able to think about. Now, I did have a printable vinyl sticker on my car that was not sealed in any way, had no protective coating on it or anything like that. And it did decently well for a couple of months on my car. Now I say a couple of months because I did not have a carport to pull under or a garage to pull into. So my car was exposed to the elements 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So all of the weather, all the elements, the sun beating down on it, it was all exposed to that. And it did last several months. Now that was again, without sealing or protecting that vinyl in any way. So uh, do be aware though, none of them are waterproof. Now bouncing off of that, none of them are waterproof. There are some ways you can seal and make these waterproof-ish. Uh, so some of our favorite ways to do that are with a, uh, like a layer over it, like a protective layer. Like this is Oracal Oragard. This is the matte. 
uh, or guard. You can also get glossy. And what this is is literally a protective layer that's cut with your Cricut after your image prints out. And it just kind of adds a little you know, layer of waterproof protection there. Now it's not a 360 waterproof protection because of course you're gonna print out your material and then you're gonna place this on there, place it in your uh, Cricut and it's gonna cut that out. So it's gonna cut this over top of your adhesive vinyl. Uh, so the sides, the edges of your sticker of your vinyl will still be exposed and able to get water in there and all that good stuff. So you do have to pay attention to that, but this is a really great way to make it waterproof as best as you can. Now another way is to use a clear sealer like Minwax Polycrylic or something like that to spray seal it just to protect it, add a little bit of a layer of protection there from the UV rays and from water and things like that. So those are our two main favorite ways to quote unquote seal our vinyl decals before we place them on a car or a cup or something if they are printable. Now our favorite way is just using this Oregard because it is pretty foolproof. You don't have to, you know, do it in a well-ventilated area like you do the spray polycrylic. You don't have to let it dry like you do the spray polycrylic. You don't have to worry about it yellowing like you do with that spray. There's, there's some definite upsides to using something like this, which I will link down below for you. But if you want to seal these, you can. Now, if you're just placing the sticker on your laptop or something like that, it's not going to be exposed to extreme elements or, you know, water or anything like that on your phone or something like that. You really don't have to seal these at all. They'll do really, really well without being sealed. But if you wanted to seal it, it can be a little bit tricky. So to seal it, that is what we recommend. The next thing that you might not know is how much brand matters. Now note I don't say cost because cost doesn't matter like brand matters. The brand you choose needs to be a very, very good quality brand. Now quality does not mean expensive. Uh, quality is uh, of course a relative term. It can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. We want a really great print out of this. We want a good, thick, sturdy material. We want it to print really well. We want the finished project product, excuse me, not to be smudged or anything like that. So you do want to pick out a good quality brand and it doesn't have to break the bank. Like I said, HTV Ron is our favorite. Zakoto is extremely comparable, but it's just a little bit more cost effective to get the HTV Ron. I'll link both of these down below, like I said. So if one's out of stock, you can get the other one. Again, very, very comparable, very great quality. They are glossy, but shop around. If you don't want to take our recommendations, make sure you shop around. We have used a ton of different brands and some of them just do not, do not stack up with, with other brands. Uh, so don't waste your money, especially if you don't have a lot of money to spend on these printable products. You don't want to waste time and money on that. You don't want to waste ink from your printer or anything like that. So make sure you're getting a great quality printable vinyl. They are out there. There's a lot to choose from. If you're on Amazon, look at the reviews for them and things like that. Reviews can be super helpful. Now, I'll, not a lot of the times, but some of the times the people will blame the material for a problem when in reality it's because you haven't switched your printable settings on your printer. Now this is going to kind of spill into another fact that you might not know, which is uh, how important printer settings are for the paper that you have. So. Here we have eight and a half by 11 sheets of glossy paper. If your printer is set to matte paper or something like that, it's not going to spit out the same amount of ink that it would spit out if you had a glossy setting. Now there's an incredible video that Becca made on ways to avoid printable mistakes when using a uh, print and cut with Cricut. Watch that video. It goes into a lot more detail about the settings that I'm talking about. She'll give a visual example on um, the step that you take in design space and with your printer to be able to get there to change those settings. So the settings that we have our printer set to is photo paper or glossy paper. And both of those are going to spit out the perfect amount and type of ink for a glossy sheet of paper. Because of course, matte and glossy, they're going to hold ink differently. So the printer is going to spit out ink differently. And that is something that a lot of people do not know. They'll blame the material and say, well, this material didn't print out well. Well, our counter question is what settings are on your printer? So if you didn't know to change your printer settings, they are very important for a successful print and cut project. If you're printing out a piece of printable vinyl and it stays wet and there's so much ink on it that it smears all the time, that's a sign that you do not have your printer set on the correct setting either because no printable vinyl that's a good quality should do that if the printer is on the correct setting. 
Uh, so definitely check that video out. It's a great one, but make sure you switch your printer settings to always, always, always have it set to the type of material that you have, at least the finish, at the very least. If you have a matte, set it to matte. If you have a glossy, set it to glossy. It will be a game changer for the quality and look of your print the gut projects. Now another game changer that we like to talk about is our printer. So this is just a Canon Pixma printer. Really brand, size, price does not matter. Most printers will do a really decent job. This is an inkjet printer. And one thing that is a game changer that we will 100% recommend, if at all possible, is a rear loading tray. It has really changed the game when it comes to our printable projects. So a rear loading tray, unlock a regular printer that has a front loading tray where you put your paper in the bottom and then from the bottom it feeds under and over your printer and then spits out. A rear loading tray feeds from the top and comes straight out of your printer. It doesn't have to curve over the bottom or anything like that. And with materials that are a little thicker or a little bit of an odd feeling material, it almost always, I mean 10 out of 10 times basically, will jam in this printer or other printers that we've used that do not have a rear loading tray. So if at all possible, get a rear loading tray with your printer. Now they can retract super easy and you can only use the front tray. That's fine, you know, for day to day things. But if you ever want to use printable materials for your Cricut to use print and cut and you happen to have an odd material, like for whatever reason, the brand of heat transfer vinyl that is printable that we use, New Fun, it is a really weird material feeling wise. And the ends kind of curl up a little bit and it gets jammed in this printer all the time. So to use a rear loading tray is an absolute lifesaver, game changer. It has saved so much time and money and wasted materials, saved so much ink from this thing getting all jammed up. I mean, honestly, if you can get a rear loading tray on your printer, that is phenomenal. So do not forget that tidbit if you are brand new to cricketing, you're wanting to dive into print the cut, but you're not sure what printer to get. You can go on the lower end as far as cost, that's fine, but if at all possible, find one with a rear loading tray. I could honestly talk about printable vinyl and print the cut and printers. I could talk about it all day. We do have a lot of great training about uh, printable products and printers and what to do and what not to do. So check out some other videos over on our Oak and Lame YouTube channel. You will not regret them. But I do hope you have enjoyed this video today. We gave a lot of really great helpful tips and tricks. We always are developing our skills and learning new things and trying new products. So we love to give you guys helpful videos that'll help you become better crafters and save you from some project fails because there is nothing worse than wasting time, money, and putting a damper on your confidence by having some project fail. So if you're watching this video before you even try print and cut, good for you. If you're watching this video before you've purchased a printer, Good for you. Thank you for taking the leap and being proactive and trying to gain as much knowledge as you can before you might have a craft fail. So thank you for doing that. I hope you have enjoyed it. What did you think of this great video? We hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, click the link down below to see how you can become a member of Oak and Lamb today. Here at Oak and Lamb, not only do we have over a thousand digital cut files with free commercial use licensing, but we also have an exclusive Facebook group, free courses to help educate you on how to use your machine, no matter what type of Cricut machine you have. We have member only content ranging from everything from podcasts to how to videos and so much more. Check it out. Use the code 20 off 20 OFF to get $20 off your yearly membership with us. It's an incredible value and it's an incredible community that you don't want to miss out on. We can help you and hold your hand and walk with you and allow you to become a more confident and well-rounded crafter no matter what area of crafting you're passionate about. Whether that be cricket or sublimation or laser cutting or woodworking or sewing, anything like that, we are here to help you as this amazing crafty community we can do that for you. So definitely join today. You will not regret it. If you did like this specific video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what was your most helpful tip that we shared with you today. And as always, subscribe, hit the bell, and you need to get notified when we post more videos like this. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you all another day for another video.